Here I've got a deer hide. It's a buck that uh, was frozen for a year. Now thawed out. I'm going to flesh it, stretch it, and then flesh it. And I'll show you what that looks like here in a moment. Here we are now all tacked out. So it's stretched. Just doing a light stretch. I'm going to now flesh. You gotta get all, you can see that. All that's gotta come off. It needs to be down to around that area right there. So, got some work to do. I'll show you when it's done. So here's the hide now fleshed. You can see the entry was up there with a bloodshot. A couple entry and exits. Um, there's the pile, how much I took off. See that? I used the machete to help scrape, and then that my pocket knife to cut. So now I'm going to salt it. Here, as you see, I got it all salted. I use mix and fine salt, it's 99.9% .9 salt, unidized. Your fifth pound sack, it's pretty cheap, local farm supplies or hardware and that's what it looks like you don't want to go too skimpy put it on there if you see a little red like right there it could add a little more salt but uh, this draws out all the moisture out of the hide and all the fats and stinkiness so if you see a wet spot starting to get real wet just add more salt and let this sit for a few days and I'll come back to it and we will begin the tanning process. Alrighty. As you can see, after even like four hours, it's soaking up and it's damp and really wet. So I already put some here. Just go ahead and cover all that back up so it's not all damp. And that's just keep layering it like so. Alright. So here we are after a couple weeks of being salted. I pulled all the nails and we're going to dump the salt and let it soak in water while I prepare boiling water and the rest of the ingredients for the tanning process. Here's the hide after all the salt's pulled off. I took 16 cups of the salt. I'm going to reuse it. Just put it into a container and save it for later. Um, next we're going to soak this into water until it's flexible and while we're doing that we'll prepare the tanning solution. Okay the items you're going to need, you're going to need 16 cups of salt. Um, you cut that in half to eight but I'm just going to leave it high. You need one box of rice bran flake, one pound. You need a, a screen to strain the rice bran flake after we let it sit in the water. You need battery acid, you need a couple totes or trash cans, and a measuring cup, and also water and a way to be able to boil the water. Um, and probably a stirring stick you're gonna need as well. All right. Next, so next takes uh, three gallons of boiling water. Take your one pound of rice bran flake cereal. Dump it in here. So, a little swoosh. And we'll put the lid on there. And let that soak for an hour. While you're waiting for the rice bran cereal to soak for an hour, this is going to be soaking also. As you see, it's stiff, but it's starting to loosen up, and you can start pushing it in, submerging it into the water. Here, I've got a stick. You just press it on in. Don't be afraid to give a little pressure and just work it as it gets wet, and then as it gets stays, it'll unstiff, stiffen, and uh, you'll be able to get the whole thing in. And let that soak until it's completely saturated and really flimsy. Okay, next we've got four gallons of water that boiled. 
We're going to add the 16 cups of salt to the water. Add that in there. Grab your stirring stick. Just go ahead and you want to stir this all the way up until it all pretty much is dissolved. It may take a little time, but just get a good solution going and get it all stirred in. And after we get this stirred in, then I have the rice bran here that's been sitting for about an hour soaking. I'm going to strain it into that bucket with the screen and then dump it from there into here. All right. All right, here we got the rice bran. I'm going to strain it out in this bucket. That's pretty much what it looked like there. You just take that and we'll dump it out. And there it is. Just the uh This the water. I'll probably strain it one more time, but there's really no need. That's small stuff. So, all right. Next, we're gonna add that solution in with the salt water. It's hot. And then just go ahead and. Dump that in. When there's some left in there, I leave it. I'd rather not have the have all the extra stuff to try to make sure you get out of here. Here, just stir this in. And when you got it all good and stirred in, then we'll add the, uh, you let it cool down just a little bit. And we'll get, uh, calls for three and a half cups of battery acid. That's for up to like six large hides. Um, we'll probably only use a, a cup and a, cup and a half is all we need for this. And we'll stir that in and then we'll Add the hide that's soaked, and as you can see now, this is good and moist. It's loose, and it's ready to be tanned. So, be right back. So, now that everything's ready and it's all soaked up and ready to roll, we're going to put in uh, approximately one and a half cups of battery acid. You want to do this kind of carefully. You want to get it in your eyeballs. Here we are. Got my rubber gloves on. Safety glasses, safety first. Now we're going to take it over here. And don't pour it from up high. Get it down low so it don't splash. Get it in there. And kind of give it a little swirl. And then, get your mixing stick. Mix this in thoroughly. All nice and mixed up. And then from here, Add the deer hide. Which I'll just take and really just pick up. And dump that straight in. Take the mixing stick and push it down into it. And they're all mixed inside here. Get a close shot in here what it looks like. And then we're going to put the lid on this and it soaks for 40 minutes and that's total time. So at about 20 minutes in, you want to stop and pull the lid and stir it up a bit and then uh, another 20 minute soak and then we'll get to the next part after that. All right, 20 minutes in, halfway. Here's what it's looking like. Let me zoom in on that. See how the skin's turned to a gray color right there? not white anymore it's working beautiful so we'll stir it up some more and 20 more minutes we'll take it out and I've already prepped up a couple 
water cans here to rinse it. And I'll get some Dawn soap. Use Dawn soap to uh, get some smell out. All right. All right. <clears throat> Forty minutes or has passed. We're gonna take the hide and stick it into the rinse water here. But before I do that, let's stick this in the drain. You want to be careful not to slosh too much. The hide. And just go ahead and stick it in there. Slosh it around. There's what it came out of. Now I'm going to get some baking soda. I'm going to pour a box of baking soda in with this to neutralize the acid. And I'll pour another box into here to neutralize that so it can be spread out on the gravel. Alright. Alright, here I've got a big box of baking soda. That we can spread. I'm just going to dump a fair amount with the fur. A fair amount. Do that. Push this in. You see as it's neutralizing in here. So I'm going to slosh this around for a good maybe five minutes, really getting all the uh, acid neutralized in the hair follicles and everything. And then I'm going to put it into the other bucket, and we're going to add some Dawn soap for, uh, for smell. Alright, be right back. Alright, now we've been sloshing that around, we're going to put some uh, Dawn escapes in there. Put a good amount in to begin with. And we'll give that a stir. Mmm, so fresh. Alright, now we're gonna take this hide. Right, grab it. It's gonna be heavy. Just dump it into this one with the soap and rinse it around here thoroughly and we'll just keep changing these out until we have a skunk in there until we have them it's all clear water no more bubbles and no colors coming out of it and then after that I'm gonna hang it up to let it drip dry not dry but drip a lot of the water out and then we're gonna stick it over on the board again and stretch it out and apply some oil to it. Alright, after it's all rinsed off thoroughly, you put it over something to drape to hang. I like to put it uh, the hair side down because it's going to hold all the water. And just hang it on over as you can see. We got shot. And just let it drip dry. Alright, All right. here we are after it's dripped, dried pretty good. Um, after hanging over something, you got to go and re-tack it out, stretch it. Um, give it a good little stretch to help stretch the fibers. And I'm going to get some mineral oil and paint brush it on there when it dries a little bit more. And that's going to allow to absorb the oil that the acid... Uh, had dried out of the skin so it doesn't become brittle. Alrighty. Alright, for the final and last step, you take some mineral oil or linseed oil and we're just gonna put you put a good amount on there. Let it soak it in. Put on some of that. Use a paintbrush. 
and then you just brush it on. And once you cover the whole thing with the oil, uh, allow it to soak for a couple days. And when it's done, um, it should feel like leather. And uh, after you do this, you'd want to take a, a wire brush and uh, lightly scuff on it. And that will give it like a suede-like appearance. And that's when it's, it's uh, done. And you'll see the next thing will be the finished item when this dries. And that's it. That's how you tan. So here's the brush that I like to use. Just a barbecue brush or wire scratch brush. Which it says there, I think. So, so I just take it here. It's been sitting a day with the oil after I put the mineral oil on it. You can see it's starting to come up. And those are going to be the leather fibers that are going to be all dry here. It's just starting to get cold, so it's going to take a little longer to dry. As you can see, it's pliable. If you move it, it feels more like leather now. And as it dries, I'll just keep brushing on it and uh, brush it again when it's got a better, when it's more dry, and that's that. All right. All right, we're at the final stage of the hide. This is the part that's called breaking. And you're breaking the hide, you're breaking the fibers up in the hide so it becomes pliable. It bends, you can move it and squeeze it. So you do this by um, bending it over things, over two by four and scrubbing back and forth. Um, bending it, twisting it. I took a 80 grit sander to it also, which helps smooth it out, make it more like suede. And here it is. And it's all finished. Looks like that. Looks like a deer hide. And that's it. After you just keep working it, it gets softer and softer with time as you work it more and more. And as you can see. But that is it. So here's the hide we were talking about. Here's some others that I've done just to show you kind of how they turn out. So it's really pliable, it's soft. Uh, it's a little buck. There's a skunk, spotted skunk, some muskrats turn out really nice, real pliable, some coyotes, you can see, they're just like, like, like a blanket, so, that's kind of the things that I've tanned with this same system I just showed you, there's a few of them that I've done, um, you can do all sorts of things like this, alrighty, good luck.